All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be doing page 132 through 133. And what we're talking about is ordering fractions, ordering ordering numbers, really, because we're, we're gonna be ordering percents, fractions, and decimals. So you need to really be able to convert between all of these. Now, what I would recommend is converting them all to fractions. Okay, you see that? I'd convert them all to fractions. So, and this is why, because when you're comparing fractions, as long as you have the same denominator, now, here's what I mean. The top part is a, it's called numerator. Numerator. The top part is called a numerator. The bottom part is called denominator. Now, as long as you have the same denominator, which in this case we don't, but if you did, it's really easy to compare fractions. So here's what I would recommend you do. Look at the denominators, okay? Five, two, 10, four. And if you're gonna compare these and put them in order, for example, in this case, from least to greatest, then what is a number that all of these go into? Two, five, 10, and four. What, what is some number that 10, two, five, and four all go into? So here's what I'd say, that number is 20, okay? So I'm gonna write that to the side. That number is 20. Two goes into 20, five goes into 20, 10 goes into 20, four goes into 20. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is change all these fractions. So four fifths, think about this, how do I get five to 20? Well, I wanna multiply by four. So let me do that down here real quick. Four fifths, now if I multiply by four on the bottom and four on the top. Four times four is 16. Five times four is 20. Okay, so that's the five fourths one. Now, one half, if I wanna get two, the bottom, if I wanna get two to be 20, then I need to multiply by 10. So here's one half, one half, times 10 on the bottom, times 10 on the top. So, one half is the same thing as one times 10 is 10 over two times 10 is 20. 10 over 20. Okay, let's do nine tenths. Nine tenths, well, if I wanna get 10 to be 20, then I need to multiply by two. So nine times two is 18. 10 times two is 20. And then the last one is 3 fourths. And if I want to get that 4 to be 20, then I need to multiply on the top and the bottom by 5. So 3 fourths times 5 times 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. And then 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, so give me just a second. But what I'm going to do in a second, I'm going to go get a pen, a different colored pen. What I'm going to do is now that the denominators are all 20, Now that the denominators are all 20, got my new pen. Um, you can put them in order. So for example, least, the smallest, greatest to the biggest. So I wanna go smallest to biggest. So which one is the smallest? 16 20, 10 20, 18 20, or 15 20? 10 20 is the smallest. So that's gonna go first. So look, that was the one half. Okay, so one half is first. Second, Done. Uh, 15 twentieths is smaller than 16 twentieths, so that's gonna be next. So 15 twentieths was the three fourths. Okay, and then 16 twentieths is a little bit bigger than that, so that's the four fifths. And then 18 twentieths is the biggest, which is the nine tenths. Okay, now this right here is in order from least to greatest, all right? So again, what we did was we got all the denominators the same so we could compare them easily. Then you have you just go in order. So then 10 is the smallest, 15 is the next, 16, then 18. So smallest, second smallest, second biggest, biggest. All right, next. Uh, Mayara spends two thirds of her free time blogging on the internet. Marwa spends 60% of her free time blogging on the internet. Who spends more of her free time blogging? Okay, well, 
let's get common denominators. Now to do that, I need to take this and make it into a fraction. So remember, the word percent, right? 60%, this is percent. 60% is the same thing as 60 per cents. 60 divided by 100, okay? This fraction is two over three. Okay, so let's now, um, I'm gonna reduce this fraction real quick. So hopefully you can see that 60 divided by 100 is the same thing as six over 10. So I pretty much just took off a zero. 6 over 10. So I'm comparing 6 over 10 and 2 over 3. And the question is, who spends more of her free time blogging? Is 2 thirds bigger or is 6 tenths bigger? Okay, so Marwa is the 6 tenths. Marwa is the 6 tenths. Mayata is the 2 thirds. Okay, so I need to get a common denominator. So what is a number that 10 and 3 go into? That number is going to be 30. So I'm gonna write that over here, 30. So if I'm gonna get 6 tenths to be 30, I need to multiply 10 by 3 and 6 by 3. So 6 times 3 is 18 over 30. Now compare that with how do I get 3 to be 30 times 10 times 10. So this one is at 20 over 30. So again, Marwa is this one, and then Mayada is this one. So Mayada spends more time. Mayada spends more time blogging. Okay, so let's do another one. The table shows the wins for some middle school football teams, which team has the greatest fraction of wins? Okay, so again, take all of these and put them in fractions. So the Eagles win 95% of the time. So let's write that as a fraction. 95 per cent. That's the Eagles. Okay, the Wolves, so this is Eagles. The Wolves win nine out of 10 games. Nine out of 10, this is the Wolves. The Mustangs went, look at that, 0.89. So how do I write that as a fraction? Well, remember, this is tenths, that's hundredths. So I can say 89 hundredths. And this is, that's the Mustangs. Okay, so now what's a, look at my denominators, 110 and 100. So what's a number that all of those can go into? Well, 100, and they're actually almost all there. So this one is already at 100, so we'll leave it. This one, I need to multiply by 10, multiply by 10. So nine times 10 is 90, over 10 times 10 is 100. And then the Mustangs is already at 100, so that's 89 over 100. So the question is, which team has the greatest fraction of wins? Well, which one's the biggest? This one. So you could say Eagles. Eagles win the win the most. Okay, next one. Next page, page 33. All right, so um, it says fill in each bubble, okay, with less than, greater than, or equal to to make a true statement. Okay, so this is, this can be answered multiple ways. So one third and three fifths, how do they compare? Well, let's get a common denominator. So three and five, what's a number that three and five go into? 15, okay. So let's get this denominator to be 15. So I'm gonna multiply this side by five. This one, I'm gonna multiply by three. And I end up with one times five is Five, three times five is 15. This one is three times three is nine. Five times three is 15. So which one's bigger? This one's bigger. Okay, so what we could say is that, uh, for example, see this sign? Remember this, the mouth always opens up to the bigger number, okay? So it wants to eat the bigger number, so. 
this is bigger, so the mouth eats the bigger number, this is bigger than that, okay? Or three-fifths is bigger than one-third. All right, next one. Let's get this to a common denominator. Well, two goes into 12, so I'm just gonna multiply this by six, and I'm gonna end up having seven twelfths, and one times six is six twelfths. So which one's bigger? This one is bigger. That's bigger, so there's my answer. This one, so that's four tenths. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. So this is gonna be one fourth, this one's gonna be four tenths. Okay, so what does 10 and four have in common? What's a number that 10 and four have in common? An easy one is 40, but there's a smaller one, actually 20. So I'm gonna try to turn this into 20 which is times two times two. So four times two is eight. 10 times two is 20. That's what I wanted to do, okay? Um, on this one, if I wanna turn the bottom, the denominator into 20, then I need to multiply by five. One times five is five. Four times five is 20. So which one is bigger? This is bigger. So I'm gonna do it this way, okay? And then the last one, this is seven tenths, so seven tenths, and then this is seven ninths. So how do they compare? Well, let's get a common denominator. So what number does 10 and nine have in common that they both go into? Least common multiple. Um, I would say 90, okay? So let's take this fraction. To get this fraction to have a 90 on the bottom, I need to multiply by nine. To get this fraction to have a 90 on the bottom, I need to multiply by 10. So seven times nine is 63 over 90. And then seven times 10 is 70 over nine times 10 is 90. So which one's bigger? This one is bigger. Let me show you something really interesting. If that one's bigger, okay. Well, never mind. Let's just go like this. Okay, there it is. That is finished. Oh, with the top part. I got three minutes, so let me go ahead and try some other ones. Order the fractions from least to greatest. So a number that two, three, four, and six go into, 12. So I'm gonna write 12 here. Now let me rewrite these fractions. So one half, if that's going to be 12, I'm gonna hurry up on this, okay? I could show you all the work I'm doing, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make the bottom 12. So this one needs to be multiplied by six. Let me show you using this. That needs to be multiplied by six. So six times one is going to be six. Six times two is going to be 12, okay? Uh, this needs to be multiplied, so three, to have a 12 on the bottom, needs to be multiplied by four. So um, three times four is 12. Two times four is eight. This, to be 12, needs to be multiplied by three. So three times four is 12. Uh, three times one is three. And then this needs to be multiplied by two. So two times six is 12. Notice 12, 12, 12, 12 is on the bottom. Two times five is 10. So I wanna order them from least to greatest. So the smallest to the biggest. This is the smallest. So this was the third one. So one fourth is the smallest. Next smallest is going to be six twelve. So the first one. 6 twelfths, so that's one half. Next smallest is 8 twelfths, which is this one. And then last is 10 twelfths, which is the last one. Okay, that's the answer, from smallest to biggest. I'm gonna do one more and then, oh, and I better hurry. Numbers that go three, nine, six, and 18 go into is actually 18, so here we go. Um, to get this to be 18, I need to multiply by six. So six times two is 12, three times six is 18. To get that to be 18, I need to multiply by two. So two times two is four, nine times two is 18. Uh, to get this to be 18, I need to multiply by three. So three times five is 15, six times three is 18. And then this one is already in that format.
Okay, so putting it in the right format. Well, guys, that's the end of this video. Honestly, I do have to end it now because I need to make this 